Hello, this is my week 21 vlog, and in this vlog, I'm going to be talking about my school's tours. Um, so, this week I've done a school's tours production of Young Frankenstein around the Hayes and Uxbridge area in different schools. So, I'm just going to talk about that and I'm going to answer a few questions as well. So, um, so I feel like this week, for me at least, um, has been a bit of an eye opener for me in the like lens of like what to expect and like and production wise. So I feel like I've learned a lot from this week and the past couple of months. I feel like I've learned a lot about myself or what to expect from the industry. A bit, I mean, like, yeah, sure. I think I've learned what to expect. Like, if I were to go into it, like, full-time after college, I've learned a lot about how staging works and how to adapt. Um, something I've learned from the schools is um, sometimes um, the audience is very quiet. It just sometimes that happens. It, I've learned that it can be a possibility that not everyone is going to laugh, not everyone is going to find your show interesting. Some people are just going to find it boring and just stupid. So, like, no matter what, every time you perform it, you need to make it even better than the last. No matter how good it was, no matter how great it was, you thought it was last time, you have to up that every single day and every single second so the audience can at least go home saying that they enjoy the show and not just think it was boring and they just hated it. Um, some schools, um, I, some schools I liked performing at specifically, not because of like the audience wise, but learning wise was um Dowie Martyrs and Global Academy. Like those are probably the two schools I take away from the week, the week the most because they stood out to me very specifically. Global stood out to me re bigly because it was it's a mass it's massive. Like we performed in basically a conference hall with a ma like a big audience like watching down on us. And like it was, it was fairly intimidating. I will be completely honest. It was fairly intimidating. It was, but that we had to project a lot. The singing was like a lot. We kind of had to change up the choreography a bit. Like not change the dancers, but change the positioning because there's a platform, and we had to use all the floor as much as we could. So like we had to like use the platform and use the floor as much as we could. Like so yeah, that that was a fairly interesting school because teaches you how to like adapt to new scenarios and Dalway is another example of that because they they didn't we didn't perform on a stage we basically performed on the floor and we didn't have like a back entrance to go around so like if we were to exit off stage and I had to like grab like a chair and put it onto the stage which I actually had to do I had to strategically like decide like okay I'm gonna have to go this way and while well, even though everyone is gonna have to go that way I'm gonna have to go this way, and then wait, then bring the chair on. So yeah, that way was I, that's why I've, I found like that's why I like that way a lot because not because like how good production was it was still a very good production, but we had to like, I, I, I we had to adapt really well to the little space we had, especially for the dance of Transylvania Mania. That was, it was a bit harder to do that because that was smaller the stage was. What I think was satisfying about the end product of Young Frankenstein is how. Like, at the end, like, how good we all felt, how clean it felt every single, like, time. Like, when we did, like, the evening shows in Global, like, it felt very good. Like, I felt like everyone was just doing well. The singing was great. The acting was great. Every, like, every everyone from the ensemble was doing good. Like, and at the end of it, I feel like probably what was actually the most satisfying was how just like like how everyone got together and just felt like we've done something we've we we pro we pro we've proven something to these people we've proven something like we we can do this we can like feel like we can do whatever we, we're like great we can if we can take these the, take this production to like school sorts like take the global we can like almost do it anyway i guess maybe it's a bit egotistical egotistical to me but i've just felt like we how good it felt, how good it was, we could, like, take it to, like, any school, we could probably take it to, like, a small theatre, maybe, who knows. Um, does this work tell a story? Well, yeah, obviously this work does tell a story, uh, this work tells the story of Frederick Frankenstein, or Frankenstein, um, who has to, like, who, after years of, like, like, ignoring his father's death, kind of avenges him, um, makes a monster, gets in trouble, um, gets hung and stuff and like 
yeah, obviously the work does tell the story. Um, what resources did you use while you're working on this piece? Um, I used, I actually watched, like, I feel like something that helped me was uh, I watched the, like, 1974 sh movie of Young Frankenstein, and I feel like that helped me a lot to understand, like, okay, this is what we are actually sp supposed to be doing, like, this is a different perspective, like, this is how you deliver, like, funny lines, like, and stuff, because that was in a musical version, like, because the, the show, obviously the show was written as a comedy, but, like, I feel like watching the 1974 version showed us how to, showed me, at least, how you're supposed to deliver lines, I guess. What problems did you encounter when you're working on this piece, and how did you solve them? Um, well, we ran into a lot of a pretty uh, a few problems when we did this show. I feel like one of the biggest problems was just people not listening, like people not going home and practicing the dances, or like not people not like calling in for extra rehearsals. That was a fairly big problem for a lot of people. Um, I I try my I try my best to like come to every rehearsal I could and if I couldn't come I said to people okay I can't I can't come we even had the register saying okay this person's here this person's here this person's here this person's not here this person's not here this person's not here so yeah I feel like a big problem was either people not turning up or people just being lazy what's one thing I want people to notice when they look at my work um outside of the young Frankenstein actually just like as a whole like as an actor i want people to know that um like just just like yeah, outside of young fans i want people to know that like i really take like every small bit seriously like especially like very like small details i take like body movements fairly seriously i take like with my small hand gestures very ser very seriously i take like the small things about a character that you may not completely notice i feel like that's what i take very seriously I, like i would like like be moving around or just not, not, not moving around but like at mannerisms like my character's nervous or like i feel like they're nervous like because especially for one of my characters mr hilltop he's like being used as a dump test dummy basically so i wanted people to learn when I was being like messed around with by Frederick, that like I'm a I'm a bit I'm scared. What what like what's about to happen to me? Like I was kind of like holding my arm like this, like holding my wrist and just like kind of like like scared of what's happening. That's kind of what I want people to learn. I want people to notice that they that I like to put in small details with my characters. If someone to, were to look at this piece, what might they learn about who you are as a person? And if someone to look at this piece, I feel like they might learn that I am a, I'm a... I don't always complain if something changes. I don't feel like I complain if, like, oh, we are going to come... We're going to have to change this dance. It may not be, like... Because, like, yeah, I feel like people may notice, like, I'm, I'm not one to complain all the time and just, like... If something changes, if we're cutting out like an entire section, then like it's it, it's what we have to do. Like I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow along with it. I'm gonna listen to what my teacher says, and I'm just gonna get on with it. As you look into this piece, um, what's one thing you would like to improve on? I feel like it. Looking at this piece, I would love to. There's so many things I'd like to improve on. But one thing I'd like to improve on is, um, well, it's probably singing while dancing. I feel like uh, singing is like, sure, singing can be something I need to improve on. But I feel like I'm slowly getting there when it comes to singing. Like, I'm having singing lessons as well outside of college and all that stuff. So with that, I just like, I kind of like want to learn how to like keep my breath under control. Learn, maybe maybe learn a bit more breath work. And like that's some stuff I can do in my own time, but it's like I feel like it'd be, I feel like it'd be good if we like went over more breath control. Maybe the singing captains could like hold extra like singing rehearsals. Who knows? I'll maybe talk to one of them about that. Um, what would you want next year's teacher to know about you? Like what things I'm good at? I feel like, like outside of Young Frankenstein, 
and outside of level three, like outside of music, school, I want the next year's teachers to learn that like I'm very like when it comes to like certain like certain genres of plays, um, I'm very committed to like shocking the audience. I really want to deliver something to the audience that they can go home with and they think well, that was in that was something that was kind of insane almost like that's what i want next year's teachers to like notice about me or like know about me i want them to know that like if i'm given like a very something very powerful or something very like serious to, like perform that i will do it like because i want to show people like i can do like like dark maybe like darker things that make some people may not feel comfortable with i want i want people to i want the next year teacher to know that like i'm i'm comfortable i know like if there's something serious i have to do when it comes to acting or like a serious character or a serious scene that like i'm committed to doing it but yeah so that has been my week 21 vlog on a school tour in young for young frankenstein